Our next guest is the author of best-selling novels like The Notebook and A Walk to Remember. His romantic dramas have captured the imaginations of millions of readers, and the popular film adaptations of his work have touched countless more. Oh, I love yeah, his yeah. book. <laughs> Here to discuss the upcoming Lifetime TV movie Deliverance Creek, next month's film adaptation of his novel, The Best of Me, and his career as a superstar storyteller is writer Nicholas Sparks. Welcome to Arise. Thanks for having superstar me. Superstar storybook. Definitely. Definitely. I love that. There's a little I alliteration there. I like it. Like a rock star author. Yeah. <laughs> rock star author, yeah. even better. And speaking of rock star author, I mean, you've sold 97 million books worldwide wide yeah and you're so books, far and they've been translated into more than 50 languages yeah what oh, hello hello <laughs> I know I, you know it's so funny I, you know I I hear these numbers and I don't really ever think about them to be quite frank mm -hmm. I, it, usually my life is I write a sentence at a time I'm writing a chapter I'm writing a couple thousand words whatever I'm doing so I'm kind of focused right here I, I, it's like I don't have time to look back but then you're when like you after hear the that 25th yeah. million book yeah, who you know, has like, time right, exactly <laughs> <laughs> something I, I don't know it's just it's just not something I think about but when you hear it it's like wow that's a lot you well, know well, why I've been very you, blessed I guess is what I'm well, saying besides being blessed why do you think that your books have done so well mm -hmm. uh, yeah I, you you could add, the readers of course who have their own opinions yeah, there's love stories and all of that stuff but you know in the end I think it's really authenticity, mm. right? I think they, that whether you're reading The Last Song or whether Dear John or The Notebook, these are characters that, that feel very real. Right, they they just feel as if you could know them. In the notebook, Noah felt like maybe that that grandparent you really loved, that relationship that lasted forever, and you just say, I I know someone like that. This is very real, and I think that that brings you in. And then you know you do the other things, voice, and you try to put mm. an interesting plot in. But in the end, yes, character, voice, plot, it all comes together in a story that people enjoy. Yeah, Thank my... you for bringing Ryan Gosling into our lives. <laughs> <laughs> you are very you. welcome. Yes, yes, Thank right. You for that. Big yes. How fun is that? <laughs> and I can't tell you how many times. I've seen the notebook. My wife just loves it. Yeah. <laughs> your wife yeah, loves yeah. it. Shh, yeah, the wife you loves love it. it. You know you cry every time you every watch time. it. Every time. Oh, it's beautiful. It's tough, right? <laughs> but you know what? We're used to seeing your books turn into movies, but your newest project, Deliverance Creek, is not from one of your books. No. It's on Lifetime. It's a series. It premieres this Saturday. Tell us more about what we can expect. Well, uh, it's a backdoor pilot, so it's mm -hmm. two hours, so it's actually a, a full film. I'm really excited about it. It's set in 1862. Mm -hmm. Deliverance Creek is a town in Missouri. Missouri is, uh, it was a border state, half mm -hmm. Union, half Confederate. Okay. And during the Civil War, when the men were off fighting, a lot of times the women were there on the ranch trying to keep it going while the husbands or sons are gone, right? Well, welcome to Belle's world. And there are guys who didn't go off fight. They're trying to take advantage of her. She's just trying to do the best she can. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, it's me. There's a little bit of a love story in there, but she's a very complex character. It's not something you might read in my book. However, this is a really story about Belle's journey. It is there is loss, there is the desire for revenge, there is betrayal, and it all comes together in this great mix of characters, you know, runaway slaves trying to reunite with their family, and, and sister who's running this underground railroad, and bank robberies, and bad guys, and villains, and it's just fun, to, it's just fun TV. In two hours? In two hours. I am oh. there. Yeah, right. it's fun, right? I mean. And this marks your television Producing debut, is yeah. that correct? Yeah, okay. this is the first. Uh, this is the first show put out by uh, Nicholas Sparks Productions, mm -hmm. and, and of course with Lifetime. Very exciting. You know, I didn't want to do something. Let's say that was based on one of my novels, mm -hmm. because I didn't want to get pigeonholed. Like, oh, they're all going to be that. No, let's do this authenticity, genuine. Let's put it in a different period. Let's add a bunch of different themes, and let's just make it a good story. Because in the end, that's what I'm about. I'm the superstar storyteller, whatever, yeah. or whatever that was. Sure. And we're, 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 Star author. Yeah, well, and, you know, not that I think that, but superstar really, storyteller. But that's what it means to me is to just tell this, to do your best to tell this mm -hmm. great story. And I had such an unbelievable cast, a great director, Melissa Carter did such a great job writing. It, it, it's really come together great. Now, how involved do you get into produ producing of the movie? Are you oh. like hands on everything? Like I don't like that. That's not what I envisioned. Well, to a certain extent, I do a lot of my work up front. I'm mm -hmm. of course there on set, uh, but I, I've learned because I've done so many films that. Look, directors kind of know what they're doing, mm -hmm. and the actors do, because you hired them, and hopefully you didn't hire them if they don't know what they're doing. Right. And so it's kind of like I, I find it 
the, the whole too many cooks in the kitchen mm -hmm. thing. Let them do their job. Okay. I'll do this over here and I'll do this and we'll make sure that everything runs smoothly. That's what I do. Now the best of me opens in theaters next month. Yeah, that's. Uh, have you seen it? I have. It's great. That's great. Yeah, okay. it's uh, that is a that is a film, mm -hmm. of course. So that'll be in theaters. It is based on a novel from a couple years ago. And it's great. It's about this couple that were in love yeah, when they were younger, yeah. teenagers. Well, 20 years later, they're reunited, and neither one of them is very happy, and one of them is in, in an unhappy relationship. So it kind of begs that question. What would you do? Look, you're halfway through your life. Yeah. You know, do you go do back you to that first love? Yeah. Do you? It's tough, right? I, I think it's it, it's real compelling. The performances were terrific. Beautifully shot film. I think people are really going to love it. Okay. And it sounds like another tear jerkle. Here and there. Here and okay. there. And then your other movie comes out next year. It's The Longest Yard. Do you sleep? The Longest yeah. Ride. I mean, this is another one. This is actually your 10th film adaptation that you've done. Yeah. That is pretty impressive. Yeah, we just wrapped on that a couple of weeks ago. And in fact, we just started uh, production on number 11, The Choice. But mm -hmm. uh, The Longest Ride comes out next spring. And... Uh, unbelievable! You know, so much fun. It's got bull riding, and and it's got this this dual love story. It's a lot of fun. I mean, why do you think your novels work so well on the big screen? Uh, again, I, I think the stories are interesting. Mm -hmm. I think they 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 have the kind of characters that first off the, the executives they read them they like them mm -hmm. that's number one number two they've all been successful and Hollywood tries to make successful mm -hmm. movies right. and then number three they tend to attract the kind of uh, actors that really want to stretch themselves mm. for whatever reason. I want to play this full gamut of emotion. So we've been very, very fortunate in casting, right? But I'm, when you're sit sitting down writing these novels, are you thinking, okay, this is who's going to play this person in the movie? You know, are you thinking of the theatrical version while you're just writing? N no. Kind, well, kind of. Two parts to, to a story. Right. Mm -hmm. You have the thinking of the story, right. and then you have the writing. Right. Okay? Okay. Let me, hmm, what am I going to write instead of just going in... When I'm in the thinking phase, yeah, I do take film into account because I want it to be original, right? And, mm -hmm. and not only original as a novel, but as a film, right? I don't want to do a love story set on the Titanic, mm -hmm. right? might be an original book, but it's right. been a very right. famous movie. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be original. And then, but then once I have it, oh, it's original in both. Well, now once I start writing, it's only about the book. Really? Yeah. Now, how did you transition from pharmaceutical sales <laughs> to being a best-selling global phenom? How does that work? Yeah, I, I'd written a novel in college. I'd written another one right out of college. And then a few years later, I'm 28 years old. And you know, I, I just decide to, to give writing another world, right? I didn't quit my job. I, my wife, we had a second child by then. And so she was um, going to bed very early. So it was either, well, I can watch TV, or I can maybe chase a dream, mm -hmm. right? I'm alone. It's from 9 to midnight, so there's no pressure, no timeline. Just let me write for a couple hours, see what happens, and the notebook came out. Okay, so you mentioned your family. We know you're great at writing romance. What's your romantic life really like? Oh, Are you, like, bringing flowers home every day, embarrassing you know, <laughs> us, making it hard for other guys, or what? <laughs> you know, I, uh, I, could, I could say I honestly do my best to, to do kind, sweet things. I just sent my wife and a couple of girlfriends on a spa vacation because she's been home of with the course. kids you better be all watching, summer. Honey. I tell you. Oh, you better and so, be hey, watching. you know, there you go. I know you had a busy summer with the kids because, you know, they're busy. You're running them to and from. My kids are not driving age yet. So, all right, take a few days with you a couple of friends a how, and just relax. You should do a how-to book for guys. Wives would <laughs> buy that and give it to their guys for <laughs> birthdays or Christmas. It would be a bestseller as well. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Really quickly, let's circle back to the notebook. <laughs> Fair, enough. Fair enough. Did you know that it would be a colossal hit? When you were writing it, did you no. have any idea? No, you hope. Mm -hmm. Right, I think everybody who's really trying to write a, a novel says, man, what if this really takes off? Mm -hmm. you, know, so you have that hope, but I don't, you can't really expect it because it's like catching lightning in a bottle almost, right? You can't expect it. I think that would set you up for disappointment or something. So you just... Concentrate on doing the best job you can telling the story as well as you possibly can. Okay, so what's next for you? Working on a novel, filming another movie, doing more TV, bunch of, yeah, the basics. The Never basics. Stops. Yeah, the basics. <laughs> and you'll get to 100 million by the time you come back. Yeah, right? yeah without question. <laughs> <laughs> There's 18 now. The, 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 num the numbers start rolling. Uh -huh. Well, thank you so much for being here. You're thank welcome. you. Rockstar author. Yeah. Thank you. And now we want to know what book of his is your favorite. Yes. Tweet us about it at Arise TV 360. And we'll be right back. Hi,